YouTube, it's Nerdcat back with another Nerdtastic Halloween episode. And for this episode, I decided to do a look based off of Carrie from Stephen King's Carrie. I always really liked uh, the story of Carrie and also really loved the movies. Um, the original is my favorite, but the remake was really good. And I loved the very odd second movie. <laughs> um, it was so weird, but I really enjoyed them. So I thought it'd be really fun to just do a really easy Carrie look. And it's the iconic blood-soaked Carrie. And I thought it'd be fun to add a little illusion bucket of blood as well. So I'm going to hand it off to voiceover Jamie and we're going to get into this look. See you there. Over Jamie here. So, with this look, you could go of two options. One is the easiest route, which is pretty much dump a bucket of fake blood on your head, put on a slip dress, and call it a day. Or you could do what I did, which was ridiculous. <laughs> um, so what I did was I first started off, as you can see, putting foundation down, because I wanted to kind of mimic or recreate Carrie's makeup for when she first walked into prom and before the bucket drop. Um, so I just kind of did a quick makeup for that. She kind of has sparkly blush colored or pinkish eyeshadow, um, some light pink cheeks, uh, lipstick and everything that matches her light pink or blush dress. So I kind of tried to mimic that as best I could with what I had on hand. Now, I will admit the lipstick that I had was completely the wrong shade, um, but it was the only thing I had that was even close to pink. So I put this lipstick down and then I put pink eyeshadow on top to try and tone it down. It didn't really matter later on because most of it's going to be covered in blood anyway, but if I would redo this, I would definitely use a lighter shade of lipstick. And then I did line my tight line my top lids um I don't believe Carrie actually has eyeliner on but this is kind of a preference thing I always think I look better with eyeliner so this was just an option then of course mascara because I have an addiction And here is my reference photo and mock drawing. So I did use the Remake Carry as my reference point for where the blood would lay on my face. Because it did look a little bit more placed, especially in this specific photo. Um, I will admit when I actually came to me drawing the blood on my face, I did mess up in some areas. Which kind of annoyed me afterwards, but this was my reference. Um... Because I liked how it was placed better than in the original. And then you can see my mock drawing for my illusion bucket. Which literally was just a headband, some armature wire, and a kid's sand bucket. All pa uh, spray painted silver. And then I used hot glue and a piece of foam to kind of just drip the blood out of the bucket. In hindsight, I probably would have used something else instead of the hot glue, as hot glue is quite heavy. So here, I am taking the bucket itself, um, putting it on so I can see where the puddle will touch my forehead, as I will be using that as my anchor point with some Prosade. So I'm just going in with some aqua paints to just kind of roughly trace out where that puddle will be ending. And then I just go in, just full on red aqua paint, and just try to mimic the uh, picture I drew. Which I didn't mimic correctly, but I know for next time I definitely will work on that. Um, for those who are asking, why didn't you just dump blood on your face? Um, it's partially because I wanted control of where the blood puddles were, because I wanted to mimic that photo as best as I could and also um, I'm not like my skin can get really irritated with uh, certain products and fake blood kind of irritates my eyes a lot so I wanted to have control over where it would end up 
So I painted everything on first and then I went in later and added some fake blood um, in certain areas. Um, as you can see, I messed up where the nose and mouth puddles would be. Um, in the actual image and drawing I did, they're kind of connected to the main puddle. Here, it kind of looks like I have a Ronald McDonald nose, which kind of bothers me, but it is the first time I ever did like a full-on illusion paint, so, you know, I still have some work to do. Especially here, I'm trying to do some shading with a darker red to make everything look a little bit more 3D and realistic, but I am not the best at face painting or illusion painting, so it doesn't fully work. It's kind of there, but it's not to the best of its abilities. But practice makes perfect, so one of these days, I will be better at this. <laughs> I did make sure that like under the eyebrows and under my eyes were a much darker tone of red, as that would be where things would pool or the shadows would be a lot deeper. So I did try to make sure those areas were a bit darker than others. Now here comes the uh, fake blood. So in that photo that I used as a reference, the blood was kind of already had settled into her hair. So I kind of wanted the same kind of effect. So I just took um, the fake blood and just kind of ran it through my hair itself, scrunching it up, you know, shaking it through. So it wasn't just sitting on top of my hair as much as incorporated into my hair. And now I am going in with some prosade in the spot that I left open for the headpiece. So I put it on my forehead first, being careful with my hair, and then I also put it on the prosthetic itself. Um, that's another reason why I think I'd change out the hot glue for something else, because the prosade was not happy with hot glue. So this was a little tricky, but I got it to stick. It just, I wouldn't last very long in a party. Um, so once everything was dry or tacky, I placed the bucket on and then I filled in all of the gaps uh, with the red aqua paints. Um, and if you notice, I did add some fake blood to the painted blood on the bucket um, just to give it more of a realistic shine of blood. And then just a little bit of shading. That's pretty much it. Let's montage. And here's the final look. Overall, I am very happy with how this turned out. I've always been a fan of the Carrie movies, um, and when I started doing these Nerdtastic Halloween videos, I knew I wanted to try and do a Carrie look with the bucket drop. Um, but I was so afraid of how to try and create the bucket that I kept pushing it off. But I'm glad that this year I just bucked up and went for it and created the bucket. I will admit that there are some things that I would change if I ever redid this look, which like this puddle of blood I'd probably make out of air dry clay instead of hot glue so it would be a little bit uh, lighter and I'd probably raise the bucket a little bit higher so that the pour looked a little better but overall the illusion was there and when I put the bucket with the look itself everything came together and I was so happy. Um, so please let me know if you guys liked this video by hitting that like button. If you want to see more Nerdtastic Halloween, please hit that subscribe. And in the comments below, let me know your thoughts and if you've seen any of the Carrie movies. Anyway, that's it for me. Until next time, as always, stay dirty, my friends. Later!